Hello everyone, it's Belladonna again, and Imagine Moonipsy, here to share with you our Skinny Puppy Concert Hall. <laughs> Alright, since this was going to be my first and only Skinny Puppy Concert, I decided to splurge and go VIP. Now the VIP thing, it was, I imagine in the old days, you know, you'd be sitting outside of a record store. Well, I didn't have to do that. I had to sit camped at the laptop to get this and spend all the money I had for it, but it was worth every single penny. And let me show you what you get with your little VIP setup. So, you get your little tote bag, as it says, skinny puppy, your little reusable tote bag. You can go grocery shopping with this and terrify the people at the grocery store. And on the back here you have the Too Dark Park Era Skinny Puppy logo. You know, it's just a simple little bag, but it's a lovely little thing to have. I will not go shopping with it because I will not risk ruining or damaging it. So, of course, I saw there was the merch table. And I had to have some merch. So, one of the popular items were the leggings. So there were two sets of leggings, two styles, and this one... Here you have the logo on there, the Too Dark Puppy and a logo, if you can see that. And then the wonderful skeletal drawings they've been doing. Now these, I have to tell you, fit extremely well. I wore them down to visit the, the grave of James Dean in Fairmount, Indiana. And I looked rather smashing in them, they hugged my legs They're so nicely. And they're actually rather comfortable and breathable, I enjoy these. Really glad to get them, I understand they were very popular. I didn't think I'd get any, but lo and behold, the other pair. So here you have the three various logos. You have Two Dark Park Era. You have, what, I guess that was like doing the last rights thing. They did that. And then, of course, the latter Comeback Era SP. So these, again, the same material. Very, very, very comfortable. Fit quite well. I will not tell you the size I bought, though. That would be inappropriate. But they do fit quite well. They look really good. And to all of you who got them, I'm sure you are enjoying them thoroughly. Now, I don't normally buy light-colored things. The only thing light-colored in my wardrobe is my hair and my face. But this shirt, I thought, I sort of want to frame it if I can or something. Because you have, again, the Too Dark Park Era logo. Skinny puppy. And, of course, the tour dates and locations on the back. Really cool. I just liked having it. It's a bigger size than I would ever wear. I mean, look at the size of that. But I really wanted something that looked... Mm, for lack of a better word, classic, if you will. This is like a vanilla colour, sort of like vanilla. It looked like Madame Weeps, look at that. Where did you go? Madame Weeps' colour, how lovely is that? This is Madame Weeps' skinny puppy shirt. How about that? So, what else do I have in my little bag of tricks? Oh yes, of course, so they had a few different shirts. And I wanted to get one that I really just thought would be cool to have. And then this lovely artwork they have there. Gotta love it. Skinny puppy. And of course, on the back, tour dates. So they are official tour t shirts. How about that? I'm not really a t shirt person, but I have to be honest with you. I own a lot of skinny puppy t shirts, and I really need to do something cool with them, like make something, I don't know, a tapestry out of them or something. Inside of here is my VIP pass, again with the wonderful skeletal drawings and on the back here you have in blues we trust house of blues opera box help ever hurt never opera box you see i had to have an opera box because i'm pretentious now there were of course posters to be had and who doesn't want a nice lovely poster so in this one you have all of the touring information blend to go mister there when nothing is true, anything is possible. Indeed. But this is a nice, you know, good quality cardboard poster. I didn't get one of the signed ones. There were none available for me. That is a shame. I would have loved a nice signed poster. And I didn't get Nipikoka's microphone. I would have liked to have gotten the microphone, believe me. But uh, I think that was a little bit out of my price range. Wouldn't that have been awesome to have his microphone? Ah, oh, well, I'll consider it a missed opportunity. So I also received this lovely cardboard poster here. 
with the artwork. These are very nice actually. I, I need to see if I can get a frame that I can put this in so that it can be protected. I want a frame like everything, frankly. I don't want any of it ever to be damaged because it was such a wonderful experience all the way around. I was keeping this in a bag from a place called Late Night Records in Cleveland, Ohio. Wonderful record store in Cleveland that I visited after, you know, seeing the show. And I really enjoyed their stock and their company. And of course, leave us not forget a classic Skinny Puppy sticker. It's very cool. I don't have the heart to stick it on anything though, because I, I, don't, I don't want it ruined. I did see a lot of interesting things when I was visiting Cleveland. I went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I didn't buy anything there that was too expensive, but I got little stickers they gave me. And you know what? The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame had a lot of really cool things. Skinny Puppy is not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. What do they know anyway? I also went to the Christmas Story House in Cleveland and I visited where Ralphie shot his eye out. It was actually a rather nice experience. They were quite wonderful over there. So I have to share one other thing though. The Buckland Museum of Witchcraft and Magic got a wonderful tour there. But for the reason I'm sharing it is because I found a very appropriate book. This is Propaganda and Holy Writ of the Process Church of the Final Judgment. Welcome to the process. Look at that. It says sex issue, fear issue, death issue. Hmm. The process is yours. What a very cool find after seeing that show. And last but not least, the hoodie. Now, I'm not really a hoodie person. It's not, uh, they don't really, I don't know, they don't look right on me, I guess. But this is really a beautiful one. It's very good quality. On the hood here, it has when nothing is true, anything is possible. Lovely. And it's a nice pullover hoodie you've got on the front. Again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, lovely. And on the back, you have your tour information, dates, and such. Now, that's all I have to share as far as things go, but I will share a little bit of my experience with you. This, again, was the very first time I would ever see them, and apparently the very last time. <sighs> Which is bittersweet, I suppose. Now, I thought the show was amazing, and I will share with you images and such as much as I can, or check me out on my Instagram and TikTok to see some of the footage. I felt very lucky to be there. It was worth every penny that I spent. And I was, of course, in the VIP, able to have a sort of meet and greet. Now, the meet and greet was socially distanced, and it was probably the best thing to protect everyone, of course. So I did not get to do the handshake that I wanted to give and be able to tell them thank you directly. And also I did not get Mr. Ogre or anyone to sign my copy of Jolene Seattle's Go Ask Ogre because I was not able <laughs> to get close enough for that. I wish I had because Miss Seattle has signed this one for me. I really thought it would be amazing to have them sign it or Ogre to sign it just because it is cool to have that. But of course I did not get a chance. And again, if you have not read Miss Seattle's book, Go Ask Ogre, if you're a skinny puppy fan, what are you waiting for? Jolene Siana, Go Ask Ogre, a beautiful and amazing story. At any rate, though, my experience was still that I got to stand at the little barrier and say whatever I could quickly, which I don't even know how much they could actually hear. I said to Mr. Kevin Key, I thanked him for finding my original Skinny Puppy video, which I did all that time ago, and putting it on his Patreon. I don't know if he really recalled. I mean, they've been touring at this point. They're tired. They have a long night ahead of them. So I tried to tell him, it's all right if you don't remember. He probably just looked at me like, what the hell are you talking about? Mr. Key, thank you again for putting that on your Patreon. And if you're not a member of Kevin Key's Patreon, get on with it. They have so much going on there. There's so much wonderful information. And it's actually a lovely community to interact with. Now, here's the deal. I got my moment to say thank you and all that as best I could. And, you know, every, it's like next in line and all that. So... I don't believe Mr. Ogre will ever see my videos, and that's alright. But if you are by chance seeing my video, I just want to say thank you again, because not only do I have oh, all these years worth of thanking you, Mr. Key, and everyone, I would like to thank you personally, because as I was leaving, I felt like I was in the way. I thought, okay, I'm just probably embarrassing myself, get my photo, hey, and get away from them and not bother them anymore, let other people have a chance to do whatever. As I was leaving, Mr. Ogre made it a point to say, go like this, telling me I looked beautiful. 
No. Maybe he was just being nice. I don't know. But it was a very Im important experience for me because it's a sort of validation just for being who I am. Part of the reason, I think maybe many of the reasons why I love Skinny Puppy was, as I've heard Mr. Oga say in interviews before, the music sort of brings people together and makes them feel like they're not alone. And that's what it did for me. And for him to stop me, he kind of do his... It was just a really wonderful moment. And I don't, like I say, think he'll ever see this, but thank you from the bottom of my heart for giving me that moment. And then, of course, the show was wonderful. I had a wonderful bird's eye view. I was able to really take it all in. I thought the costuming, the other, was spectacular. I loved the show. I loved being able to see Mr. Key do his work. I just loved all of it. I heard some people on, on social media saying, Oh, it's not as crazy as the old shows. Well, I will ask those very people who want to criticize anything about their shows or their music. What have you done lately? How many shows have you put on? How innovative and crazy are you? So, anyway. I loved every moment of the show. I, I thought it was a wonderful experience. I don't think I've ever been that smiley in my life as I hung over the balcony like an idiot, videoing everything because I wanted to capture it all. It was a wonderful experience all the way around, and of course they were opened by Lead Into Gold. Lead Into Gold was an amazing opener, and I never really, I was somewhat familiar with them, but not really, and I really am glad that I got the chance to hear and really take them in. I went and got some merch for them as well. At the end of the night, as I was getting ready to leave, I went back to the merch table, hoping to meet Mr. Paul Barker, and I actually did get to, took a lovely photo with him. He signed a, a CD. And it was lovely just to meet another musical legend who has done everything from ministry and all the other projects he's been involved with. And I thought there was no negative I could take away from the show. Even though I did not get to meet them directly, I can understand the reasoning for them having the social distance. And I don't mind. I, I, I just made a fool of myself anyway. <laughs> Probably looked and sounded like, like a fool, but got a chance. To look at them and say thank you. I wish I could have been more eloquent. I like to think that I am. I probably sounded like a glibbering idiot. But I got to say thank you. I got to see the only band I've ever truly been a massive, massive fan of since I was very young. And I got to be around a lot of people who were fans, and I met a lot of lovely people as well. It was just a great experience overall. I'm glad that I was able to pick up various things to commemorate it. When nothing is true, anything is possible. And I thought the truth was that I would never see them. And it wasn't true. And they made it possible for me to get all these cool things. Have a great experience. Thank Mr. Key for his kindness. And just have Mr. Ogre make me feel more special than I probably ever have in my life. So, Skinny Puppy, my favorite Possibly the end, I guess, but not the end for them. They do so many uh, projects and side things and whatnot. The Cyber Active is coming, the new Cyber Active. Mr. Key, oh my god, Mr. Well, in this case, Wilhelm Schrader. So many cool things coming. So even though this may mark the 40th end of an era, what a wonderful way to go out. I will say this, a lot of people were critical of the visuals of the show. I I saw on someone else's recording of the VIP experience, Mr. Ogre explaining what was going on to some extent. It wasn't so much an alien, he said, even though it appears to be so. I wish I had remembered all of this or written it down. It was the ever-present other. He had even said to this individual as he was explaining, you don't necessarily need to know everything that went into it. You just need to understand the presence of the other. Poetry back in the 80s, poetry now, magic all the way around. So, thank you again to Mr. Ogre, Mr. Key, Mr. Bennett, and Mr. Setzer, and of course, Dre for making sure everything runs smoothly. Thank you all, and thank you from the very beginning. Thank you to the late Mr. Gotel. Thank you to Mr. Lieb, everyone. Thank you to Lead in the Gold and Mr. Barker. My goodness, everything. I cannot thank you enough. And thank you for watching and looking at me show off in my merch and such. All right. So one thing, though, I have to say, and no...
concert venue, no band ever has this, is actual puppy merchandise. Merchandise for the puppies. Now here's the thing, you know, I realize Madame Reeves is a tiny fit, but I've always wanted a proper skinny puppy shirt for her or something, but here's the deal. Back in the day when I had my first and dearest chihuahua, Master Peepsy, little Master Peepsy, even tinier than Madame Reeves. I couldn't find anything like that, of course. They didn't even make anything cool for puppies. So I found this wretched looking little flannel for him and I had got the skinny puppy patch and put it on there so he'd be cool looking with it like. That's Master Peepsy's official skinny puppy jacket. So no merch for puppies available, but maybe Mr. Key will get on to that. I know he loves his kitties and puppies. So maybe we'll get some SP merchandise in the future. Till then I'll just have to make my own. What do you think, Madam Weeps? You didn't get to go to the show. You were back at the hotel being lazy. You would have loved it. Yes, you did. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching and sharing with me. Remember to like and subscribe, of course. Visit me on Instagram, the TikTok, and everywhere. And until then, we'll see you next time. Both for coming out and being a part of our lives for the last however many years you've been involved in Skinny Puppy. Uh, we wouldn't exist without you. You for sure are no uber gobble, uber gobble, one of us.